G'day, it's Pete here, and today I'm going to talk about another cheating scandal that's rocked the uh, bridge world. And uh, this one is of the number one and number two top ranked players in the world. Uh, there's just accusations at the moment, and these accusations have come from the uh, same people that uh, took down uh, Fisher and Schwartz and accused them. Um, there's a whole host of people that are working on the evidence of it. Anyway, uh, this is Fantoni and this is Nunes. So Fantoni and Nunes are the two that have been accused of cheating. Um, so what's basically happened was on September 13th, uh, an American bridge player called Kit Woolsey posted on the Bridge Winners website, uh, which is just a forum with lots of information. Um, which says the videos speak Fantoni Nunes. Now this was a similar thing that uh, they used to take down Fisher and Schwartz where they looked at lots of video footage from uh, some of the events that they're playing. Um, so what it says here is from the editor's note, Bridge Winners has received overwhelming evidence alleging improper communication between the world's number one and number two ranked players, Fulvio Fantoni and Claudio Nunes. Um, so basically they say Bridge Winners has gone out and said like we don't want just everyone posting these people are cheats or anything like this. There's been a lot of evidence that's come in and because of that we're willing to post it on our website. Uh, anyway, Kit goes on to say uh, that they came up with a hypothesis that from the opening lead they can work out how what Fantoni and Nunes are trying to convey with the way they uh, stack their tricks. So when people are taught bridge, they're meant to put the card in the direction of whoever wins the trick. Um, now, at the top level, not everyone does this consistently because everyone can remember the play. Um, so some people do lots of different stuff, but they believe that uh, Fantoni Nunes uh, use this to convey certain information such as when the card is placed in a vertical direction, uh, it's meant to show that they've got a higher unseen honor, or otherwise possibly a singleton in the suit. Um, otherwise, the card's placed horizontally. So not only is the card they lead conveying information, but the way they place it might convey some extra information. Anyway, they've gone through uh, a whole bunch of boards now. Fantoni Nunes played for Monaco and the, they've gone through about 10 matches and they've put through a uh, video of it, uh, board by board screenshots, and they've got the board number. So there's lots of information here uh, about lots of different uh, matches and they've tried to do this very sy systematically rather than just a, I think they're sort of cheating kind of thing. And they've got stuff like the board number, whether it's a suit or no trump contract, what holding they were actually led from, the rank the card led, and what they think, how they think they positioned it, and then they have a link to the actual video so you can watch. And then I've compiled this, and you can just look through all of this. Now that's going to be a lot, pretty time consuming, but if you're interested, you can do that, and you can find that on um, bridgewinners.com. And from this, it says there are 85 hands in the sample, and on 82 of the hands, 80. Five of these matched that simple hypothesis. So I think there's just one of the possible things that was going on, and I've got lots of evidence to try and suggest that that's the case. Um, so this all happened on September 13, and then after that, uh, some people started posting up stuff. Now, because uh, Fantoni Nunes are ranked number one and two in the world, they've done a lot of stuff, and someone's posted up some of their just the events they won, not just did well in, uh, in America over the last 10 years or so. And then someone also went and posted all the medals they've won in either WBF, World Bridge Federation events, or European Bridge events. And the list is pretty uh, comprehensive here over a long period of time. And then they've also gone on and sort of said who came second and or who else came places in this event, um, so that you might like try to sort of symbolise who might have deserved to actually win it, and it's got uh, lots of some of that stuff. Um, noticeably, in uh, the 2014 Europeans, uh, 
Monaco came second behind Israel, which was the other team that was accused of cheating. Um, but there's a few things like that through there. And this is also on the Bridge Winners website. Um, things went on to say uh, about lots of other fan tunes related stuff, but one thing of note was that um, Bill Jacobs wrote a bridge book on the fan tunes bidding system. So Fan Tony and Nunez, fan tunes, uh, created their own bidding system. And it's actually quite unique, and Bill Jacobs and some other people have been adopting it and getting fine results with it. And it's sort of, there's some posts about, like, even if they were cheating, uh, this shouldn't take away from the system that they created. They have done some quite novel and good things like that. Um, so you shouldn't just give up on that. But it was an interesting idea. Um, after all this came out, uh, Monaco, uh, which is where um, where Fantoni Nunes play for, uh, the uh, chief of their federation posted a message um, largely, well, to everyone, but uh, mainly talking about Boyer Brogland, who is also largely behind all this. Um, Boyer contacted uh, lots of people in Monaco and sort of told them before this all hit, it sort of tried to offer them ways that it wouldn't be posted on the internet, um, saying that if they don't publish a press release confirming that they cheat, then, and they don't, and that Monaco doesn't actually withdraw from the Bermuda Bowl, then they'll put this on the internet and let the internet sort it out. Which ideally isn't a great way to do it, but at least he tried to offer something, even though that probably wouldn't have been taken up. Anyway, uh, the Monaco Bridge Federation sort of replied and they attacked Boyer a bit and said, like, you should go through official channels and other things like that. Um, but at the bottom of this, it basically says uh, that uh, Fantunes won't be representing Monaco until this whole situation's uh, done. So, in a couple of weeks, there is the Bermuda Bowl, which is effectively the World Championship. And Monaco qualified to go to that, and uh, this is a serious setback. So, people are wondering how this is going to interact and what's going to happen, but doesn't say that Monaco is withdrawing from this, just that uh, Fantoni and Nunes won't be playing in it. So when the Fischer Schwartz thing came out, the Isra whole Israel team withdrew because they had Fischer and Schwartz on the team when they qualified for it. Uh, here Monaco qualified with uh, Fantoni and Nunes, but they haven't said they're withdrawing, but that the pair is withdrawing and not playing on the team. Um, so bit different uh, interpretations but that's what's uh, happening there and um, because he sort of attacked uh, Boyer a bit, Boyer then replied with his own email which is Dear Jean Charles, um, various accusations, I'm going to post my uh, long letter here and he finds lots of the comments uh, in here and refers to them and tries to defend why they're going to do them. Uh, why it happened, what it was. Um, of n some note, uh, it says basically in the first email said we received uh, this message from Boyer Bro Brogland and his illegal threats and uh, Boy then said illegal threats? I contacted my friend Fulvio Fantoni first and asked him to do the right thing, and then contacted lots of other people, blah, 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 blah. Um, can we post our text messages that went between us so that the bridge community can decide who is threatening who in this case? Um, please let me know if this is okay. Or what about the text message from one of the Monarch uh, players stating that whenever I need a wheelchair, you have lots of them in the South? Um, so. Uh, Boy has been physically uh, threatened, it seems, um, which is not particularly good, but I don't think anything's going to come of it, but it's kind of scary that it's getting to that. Anyway, uh, 
Boy has gone through and replied to lots of the things that uh, Jean Charles from the uh, Monaco Association said. And you can find both of these, the original and the uh, reply, on uh, the New in Bridge website, so newinbridge.com. And you can find all that in there. Uh, so as we said, Fantunes, this is the New in Bridge website. Uh, Fantunes won't be playing for Monaco in the upcoming uh, Bermuda Bowl. The final thing I was going to mention is that after this all came out, I remembered that uh, a little while ago there was ac other accusations against uh, fan Tony Nunes. Uh, yeah, that uh, hasn't been done before. Like, this wasn't the first time. Like, there'd been whispers going around. And back in uh, June 15th, something went to a case, like a whole court case about this one hand where this illicit information where there was this ace of, there was an ace led and against a slam they didn't cash another race or something, but instead worked out to give their partner a rough and all this kind of weird stuff happened. But that was just one hand, so they can't really convict anyone of cheating on one hand. You need more information for this actually to happen. And this whole coming out sort of reminded me about this previous case and this sort of stuff's been around a little bit. Um, but one of the big things that's been coming out is there's been lots of video of this stuff and people can go through and watch the video. And that's how people are trying to crack what they think of cheats. Um, I was going to wrap it up there with one final thing is that I've been reading lots of the posts and some people in the know say that there's been three pairs that they think have been cheating. Now they're not naming the third pair yet because there's not enough evidence yet. Um, and I don't think any, well, I haven't heard anything come of it yet, but uh, well, I'll keep my ears posted to see if uh, there's any more accusations that come out. But uh, that's it from me for now, and that's all I've got on the uh, Fantunes cheating case. Thanks for watching.